Steve Chess. My name's Steve, and you might see a theme. Because <laughs> uh, today I'm just going to show off a couple of customs. Uh, I was sick uh, when making this guy, so I just kind of filmed it, called it a day. I figured I could show you guys the end results. And for this guy, um, he took a way longer than I thought he was going to because I had to sculpt this entire thing. <laughs> uh, so... I ended up not filming it and figured I'd just show the end product for this guy as well. But what we have here, um, this one is meant to look like the Armor Titan from Attack on Titan, uh, which the initial figure was a blank bootleg Figma. Um, it's kind of like the Body Coon figures where you use them for your uh, drawings and making poses with the character and using that to, in order to help with your sketching. Um, and then just sculpt it over top of that, which will showcase this guy here in just a few. Uh, the big primary one you guys are probably here for is this guy, which looks like it's designed from Attack on Titan, but it's actually what this is, is it's the 2017 Godzilla, the anime Godzilla, but it's meant to look like if you ripped off all of his skin. <laughs> so it's supposed to be more like horror movie-esque than say Attack on Titan. Um, because you'll see here, like, with the spines, they're all done in a bone color. Uh, and you can see some of the reds here and there. And what I was going for there was trying to make it look f like there's still, like, some, like, blood and flesh in between sections of the bone that might have had skin over top of it. And then the raised parts would have just been bone. And then you'll see that throughout the entirety of all the spines spikes you'll see the tip of the tail if it ever wants to focus has the same thing going on with the bone coloring and some reds and then for the white sections this is actually meant to be tendon and was looking at like some people's takes on dinosaurs muscles crocodile muscle and human muscle to kind of get some of the placement for the tendon so there would have been quite a bit on the back here especially around the spine area, uh, primarily on the legs. You see here the kneecap is exposed with the bone, and then there's all the tendon muscles coming up, coming down. Same with on the foot here, a lot of the tendons. And then the toes did in the bone color as well. Same with on the other side too. See here for the kneecap. This one's definitely got a lot more bones exposing, but that's just kind of how the sculpt looked. Uh, I decided just to give this side a little bit more because it just made more sense. And then same with on the shoulders and around the neck. There's more of the tendon. You can see some of the bone here on the hands. Same with on the claws. It's got bone. I uh, decided to keep uh, the sections off the chest here because uh for one, the customer didn't like it. Two, um, they would have been like really thin anyways, and it, it kind of looked just odd next to all the bigger chunks. So we decided just to keep it off, but you'll see here on the neck. And then on the head is all bone here, and then you get the tendons around the neck region here, connecting to the head. And then for the eyes, just did them with the yellow and the white. Inside of the mouth is done and glossy. Then some of the bone coloring for the top of the spines. And then for the muscles, did them in a light red, and then dry brush a dark red over top of it, and then did a black wash to help give the muscles a little bit more variety, to make them look a little bit more meaty. And then give the detailing a little bit more muscle definite, um, helps show off the detailing a lot better. And then for the clear coat, it's the first Godzilla that I've done in a super glossy finish. So he looks wet and <laughs> shiny, uh, which is the look we were going for. Because again, look, if, if the skin peeled off, it ain't going to look dry, <laughs> you know? And overall, really pleased with the end result. Uh, we also made a beam, uh, which is the same beam that you guys saw in the previous one. But this one's done to match the... Uh, muscles here so it's red with dark red and then did a glossy finish over top of that as well so he's got like a meat color beam <laughs> coming out and overall really really happy with the way this guy came out um 
kind of sad to see him go, but he was paid for, so he's leaving. Uh, I think in terms of paint jobs, this is probably easily one of the more unique looking Godzillas. And to be honest, probably the most terrifying looking one, to be fair. Um, and then for Mr. Titan here, he'll be going out tomorrow too with all these guys. But you'll see here, uh, for all the bits that you see for the armor sections, this is all sculpted. So I had to take epoxy putty, uh, thin, thin layers, put them on, and then kind of sculpt around them, and then put in all the detailing. So you'll see around the neck, he's got the little rib sections. He's got the armor piece for the neck. This leg does not like to stay in. I'm not sure why. I might have to... Take a little drill bit. I might have to mess with them slightly before I ship them out. You see for the head, same thing. I had to do light piece of epoxy putty and then sculpted all the detailing in. Painted the eyes in yellows and whites. Give it that nice kind of glow to it. Sculpted the ears on the side. Had to make the hair because the figure was bald originally. And then see for the back here. More of the sculpted sections. Same with on the shoulders, the arms, pretty much anything you see in bone coloring. I had to do the hands, the little wrist section right around here. Put a piece of bone plating on the under section of the forearms. You got it here on the waist sections, got the ribs on the sides. The back plate here kept a spot open so you can put a stand in there. Then you got his little diaper here <laughs> for his waist. Uh, got the little crotch guard and then this part just kind of wraps around then add the armor bits for the front of the legs front of the feet for the knee pads you got one wrapping i know there's supposed to be two but with the way the joint was it just i don't know it looked kind of weird and i could have maybe put around the foot but then it would just be too big of a gap so I decided just to go with the one and then he's got the armor pieces here on the feet and then same with on the back here Got some more armored sections on the back of the legs. And I kept this part free just to kind of not hinder with the articulation. So he could still pose. And uh, the fun thing I had to figure out, and that was another thing that kind of uh, took a bit more time than I wanted to, is that I had to dye all the joints. Um, I tried painting them using my normal stuff like I do with the Godzillas. Didn't work. Still like the rip off. And really didn't want to just leave it gray. So, <laughs> I had to take some clothes red, uh, some red dye, heat it up to 200 degrees, put the joints in it. And thankfully, they held the paint. So now you can pose this guy. And the joint's not going to rub off. Which is what I wanted. And then... I kept uh, the insides are mostly still kind of gray because you're not you're never gonna see them, so I uh, didn't really worry about that too much. But anything that had exposed sections definitely had to make sure the red color. And then just did some various shades of red for the skin sections just to make it look nice and meaty. And that's pretty much about it. So if you guys want, let me know in the comment section below which one is your guys' favorite between the two. Between the Armor Titan here and the meaty anime Godzilla here. Uh, personally, I really love the way the paint job came out of this guy. And I just think he looks overall terrifying. Pretty happy with this guy too. Uh, he was a bit of a frustrating <laughs> frustrating job. Um, but it was a nice little learning experience to say the least. I'm still really happy with it. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. So help us defeat those guys just by hitting that like button, subscribe, and comment your today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pitches, Facebook. Guys, look you for the day with channel. Don't ever greatly appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Trying to make a wave. Bye-bye.